Right, now we're going to tie a, a Willy Gun Flamethrower. Just getting the Flamethrower series by Duncan Egan, very popular fly all around. Um, this time we'll be using white thread because we're going to put a pearl head on it. And the white looks a lot nicer under the pearl than your other colours of thread. So we're just going to start the thread. Come back, almost about three quarters way down the shank. Put a yellow hackle feather. Just pull off the fluff from the bottom, then just pull the hairs back to get the amount you want. Somewhere right there. And just tie it in tip first. And just fold your hackle back and secure. And just pull it round and just, just squeeze your hairs back just so the point backwards. And just keep stroking it back and it'll take its shape nicely. I'll just give you a nice skirt which is going to keep your tail in the air. Just, just trim off the rest of your hackle stem. Just give the thread a little wax. For your tail, we've just got to a mix of orange, yellow and black bucktail to create the willy gun colours. One that we've already mixed. Just, just sit on your tail. And for the flash in this one, we're going to use two strands of gold crystal flash. And two strands of bronze glisten glow. Tinsel that we really like. Right, now just wind your thread right back so you come to the so it's resting against your hackle, or your rear skirt. Off that. Right, now you just want to wax your thread and add some gold light bright. Just want to dub our body onto this one. Just roll it onto the thread of your fingers, it should stick to the wax quite nicely. Again, we're not wanting a lot, just enough for a, a short dubbed body. That's, that's fine there. Now you can now take an orange hackle. Again, just strip off your fluff. Again, tied in tip first, secure with a couple of turns. And you just fold it back and secure. And just squeeze your hackle back so it doubles. And just, just wind on while just gently stroking it back. And 
I'll just tie it off. And you just tie it so it sits back nicely. Then you want to take a, a black hackle. Again, just strip off the fluff and that as before and tie it in tip first. And just fold it back and secure again. Same as before, just, just wind and just stroke it back to keep the shape. Makes life much easier for forming the heads later. I just secure and trim off the rest of your hackle stem. Already have a nice bonny fly. <laughs> Again, I'm just going to add a couple of jungle cock cheeks to this one to really set it off nicely. You can just take your eye and just strip off the excess hairs. Just catch in with a couple of turns. Then fold the weakness the back end back. This will stop it pulling out within one or two casts in the river. And then just the second eye. And we have a jungle cock. Right, to give it a nice pearly head, just leave your just leave your thread there. I'm going to take one strand of pearl crystal hair. Just catch in with a couple of turns of thread. Now you can whip finish your thread off and get rid of it. Just cut that off and do away with it. Take your varnish and just varnish your head. This will give you a bit of stickiness just for the the pedal to catch on to. Again, just let it sit and stick for a wee second or two. And gently just wind on the crystal flash as you as you slowly pull it the tinsel will flatten off and just wind down the head and then come back up the head again just take your whip finish tool just on the tinsel two turns is enough anymore and the, the tinsel will fray Let's give it a wee tug to secure. And just re-varnish the head. Again, two or three coats just to give it a nice shiny head. That's that. Nobody gun flamethrower.